Now let's create our SysML model. For that, we click on File, New, and here it's important Papyrus model or Papyrus project. We create a Papyrus project. We click on that. Then normally a new window pops up. And here it is important that you select systems engineering and not UML. Otherwise, we do not have any SysML model elements in our model. We click here on next. We give it a name. We name it RC car. And our, our uh, folder in which we, we save these files is our working space. We can click here on next. We can here already create some, some tables, but we do not need them. So we just click to on, on finish. And with clicking on finish, now the model is created in the background and soon we can work with it. Fine, with that done, we see here our model. We see here in the project explorer our open projects and here in the model explorer we see our created model. So we have a project named RC car and this project contains a model with the same name RC car. And when we open this folder here, we see here our future model content. Here in the middle is our modeling area where we create all the diagrams. Those icons here at the top for the moment we do not really need. Here we see the complete diagram of our open diagram and here below with the properties tab, especially the properties tab, we see some additional information and properties of our diagram or the content. Now to start to do anything, and this is always the same procedure, we have to right click here on our model. And then you see here the model elements. For example, you see here SysML 1.6 Childs. These are all model elements with SysML. Then here we see the typically SysML relations, relationships and uh, then, for example, we have some further UML elements we can also use here in SysML. Same here. And we can also, for example, here create the SysML diagrams. In case we need some additional artifacts or model elements, which are mainly part of UML, here with new child, here is the rest. Here is, is everything we may need. Okay, now let's start with our first diagram.